Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So today I got Galaxy S10 Plus, the Exynos chipset, and I got the Apricity Dolby ROM on my Galaxy S10 Plus. Support for the Galaxy S10 Exynos series. Current supported models are Galaxy S10e, Galaxy S10, Galaxy S10 Plus. The latest version is also supporting the Galaxy S10 5G model number is G977. This ROM is supported and based on the Galaxy S22 with a FAP security patch. We will get full AI support. Yes, it is having a full Galaxy AI support. And yes, we will get a working secure folder, a patch working secure folder. We got extra screen modes and advanced reboot settings also available. The call recording option is also available. Either we can set automatic call recordings or we can just tap the record button during conversation to record the current call now let me talk about the calls or network hello yeah hello uh, when are you going to give my money back the one you have taken from me month ago hello uh, hello hello when you are going to give my money back hello 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 i think there is a network problem Yes, indeed, the incoming calls and uh, outgoing calls are working. Network or data perfectly working with this ROM. We can enjoy and we can take a benefit using the Galaxy AI features coming with the One UI 6.1.1. There are more features coming with the ROM like outdoor mode, network speed meter, a dual messenger yes a working patch dual messenger fingerprint gesture for the galaxy s10e hold back to kill apps and the extreme kernel we are getting with this port and with the current latest version we are also getting a working samsung health application yes it is patch and it will be working with this port calorie widgets the microphones is fixed for the third party calls or for the assistant and we are getting fab security patch and there will be more well this rom is the current latest version of the apricity dobby version 4.21 which is having one ui 6.1.1 android 14. i will say that if you are a flashaholic and if you are having a galaxy s10 series mobile phone like galaxy s10 e s10 or s10 plus or if you are having s10 5g if you are trying to get the different custom rom i will say go for this rom because i must say that this is 99.9 percent .9 stable rom for the exynos galaxy s10 series i have checked the rom so far all the Things are working perfectly. The Samsung DeX is working very nice and very perfectly. Also, we can connect the mobile phone with the external uh, monitor to get the mobile phone on the big screen for working. We are getting a stock camera. Yes, and stock modes or stock options are available with this camera application. This is the best ROM for the Galaxy S10 series go for it you are going to love it in case if you have an exynos chipset galaxy s10 series and if you want to get this awesome rom on your mobile phone then you need to watch the further video first of all you need to have an unlock bootloader because if the bootloader is locked the custom rom will never ever get flash unlock the bootloader then you can get this ROM. Check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged. You need to save all the internal storage data. Otherwise, all the data will get formatted. The mobile phone is supposed to be updated once to the stock latest firmware. In case if you are having any custom ROM, doesn't matter. The mobile phone is supposed to have an updated latest stock firmware once and then you can flash the 
Apricity Dobby ROM. In case if the mobile phone is having one UI and if you have logged in your uh, Samsung account, sync your Samsung account once, must remove to avoid issues uh, flushing the custom recovery. Same way, sync your uh, Gmail account, must remove the Gmail account to avoid issues later on. Must turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe to get rid of issues later on well these are the things that we have to do before starting the flushing procedure well if you have done all these things you can simply power off the mobile phone we'll go back to my computer screen here are the files that i have downloaded already on my computer hard drive links are all provided in my video description just make a new folder click the links and download the files well we have to download the odin pack this odin pack tar file having a custom recovery also you need to check the model well i have provided the galaxy s10 plus odin pack file galaxy s 10 e and galaxy s 10 5g and this is the apricity rom the dobby rom version 4.21 if well, you can see that i got dobby version 3 also this is the oldest one but go for the latest one currently 4.21 available we have to download the exynos 9820 cleaner file and the repartition file also and we have to download the audio file also link provided and uh, after downloading you will see that this file is coming with the zip format so must extract it first starting the procedure by opening the extracted folder of the odin then double click the odin to open it click ok on this pop-up window and on odin click any slot I will go for the AP slot and I will go to my downloaded folder and I will double click the TWRP Odin pack file according to my model. Currently I got Galaxy S10 Plus so I will double click the Galaxy S10 Plus TWRP Odin pack .tar file. So the file will get selected. So the mobile phone is supposed to be power off totally power off we have to boot the mobile phone into odin mode you need to check the cable the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer use a good quality of data cable press and hold the volume down key big speed key then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds the mobile phone will show a warning screen release all the keys in my case my mobile phone booted into odin mode straight away yes this happens sometime but in case if your mobile phone does not boot it straight away to the Odin mode, then it will show a warning screen first. Then you can simply press the volume up key to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. This is the currently Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. So the mobile phone is booted into Odin mode and connected with the computer. Odin detected the mobile phone because I have already installed the Samsung Android USB driver. Go to the options on the Odin, untick the auto reboot, go back to log, then click start to start flushing the file on the mobile phone. When it is done, you will see pass message with a green color. Then you can exit the Odin and go back to download folder. Now we have to boot the mobile phone from Odin mode to the custom recovery. You need to check the data cable. It must be connected. Do not disconnect the data cable. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. All four keys at same time. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. When mobile phone vibrates or Samsung logo appears, then release the power key. And then just wait. One, two, three, four release both rest keys the mobile phone will boot into twrp recovery soon i got the recovery screen swipe to allow modifications first of all tap wipe then tap format data type y e s then tap here when done go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery swipe to allow modifications 
internal storage will pop up on the computer screen. Go to the downloaded folder and first of all copy the repartition file from the downloaded folder. Go to the mobile phone internal storage, open the internal storage on the computer screen and paste the file on the internal storage of the mobile phone. Now on the mobile phone screen, tap install. Select the newly copied file, the repartition by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing. The mobile phone will auto reboot to recovery. Just wait and watch. Swipe to allow modifications. Now tap wipe once again, tap format data once again, type YES and tap here. We have to do the format data once again. When done, go back to main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. Swipe to allow modifications. Internal storage got appears once again on my computer screen. We'll go to my downloaded folder and this time I will copy the ROM file, the Apricity 4.21 version and the cleaner file from the downloaded folder. We'll go back to my internal storage of my mobile phone and we'll paste both files on the internal storage of the mobile phone. It will take a little time so we have to wait after copying the files, we are done from the computer. First of all, disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Now tap install and select the cleaner file first by tapping on it. Then swipe to start flashing. Just wait. The mobile phone will auto reboot when it is done. Swipe to allow modifications and it is time to flash the ROM file. Tap install. Then Tap to select the Apricity 4.1 version by tapping on it and then swipe to start flushing. The flushing will take a time so now we have to wait. Once the flushing gets completed, definitely you will see that script succeeded. Now tap the wipe Dalvik cache like this and then swipe to wipe and then when it is done then tap reboot system. The mobile phone will stay for a while on this Samsung logo screen and then soon it will start booting to the Apricity version 4.21 ROM. The first boot will take a time so we have to wait here. Finally first boot completed. I will complete the setup screen. On this screen, if you cannot find your country region like uh, I cannot find my country in this provided list, simply I will tap United Kingdom and tap restart and then continue to complete the setup screen. Finally, ROM got flash smooth and perfect we'll go to about phone galaxy s10 plus g975 f oblique ds i got one ui version 6.1.1 android 14 google play system update is first june yes we can update this one this is the baseband kernel version build number and rest all the details I'm pretty sure that you are going to like this Apricity version 4.1 ROM on your Galaxy S10 series. Do not forget to like the video if you are getting help from my videos. And also do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you once again. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.